on Thursday I was talking to somebody and at some point we started talking about pet snakes and I was like I really would want a pet snake and I thought about it and I was like I really would want a pet snake and I started researching it and figuring out what would be the best um, the best kind of snake for a beginner and I found that corn snakes would be a good one for beginners there you go so I'm gonna be going there to look at snakes that's probably where I'm going to pick up my snake but I'm deciding whether or not I want to wait until after my trip to Seattle to get my to get the actual snake but today I might buy some of the stuff that I need today I'm supposed to buy some of the stuff that I need but I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna actually get the snake today I want to but it's probably a better idea to wait but we will see I want to know everything there is to know about being a snake mom before I become one so I'm gonna take you along to show you what that looks like um, I'm feeling really excited I I like couldn't sleep last night because I was thinking about going to the snake shop so um, I'm gonna be a snake mom <laughs> made it to the North Berkeley BART station and this is such a trip because I used to live in Berkeley. I was, maybe, I'm, I'm probably gonna, I'll walk by my house, but I, the, I used to bike to this BART station, take BART, then bike from BART to work every day. Um, and I used to work at the Apple store too, so I would bike to the Apple store, then bike to BART, then take BART and bike home and it was a really stressful time. I was working a lot back then. I was in a relationship that wasn't the strongest and it was just a whole bunch of stress. I was really unhappy when I lived here. So this just brings back so many memories. I was here, um, I think two years ago now, two years ago, I haven't been back. Um, so this is kind of bizarre. This was my first apartment right after college. I graduated SF State in 2015 and as soon as I graduated, I was it was the day after graduation and I still didn't have an apartment and I found this one and moved in with my ex. That apartment. Five to ninety, and you'll achieve that by having a heating light of some sort, the lamp on top, mm -hmm. with your bulb, and then uh, this bulb is probably going to be around seventy-five watts, considering the size of your tank. Okay. And uh, then you got your heating pad. Those are really useful. Um, I'd recommend if you're going to get a heating lamp, I'd recommend like a smaller one, so one that's about like maybe this big. Okay. And those get about maybe like the smaller ones get about like 90 degrees or so. Uh huh. So that's more of a supplementary thing, but uh, this is going to be your main source of heat right here. Okay. And uh, you know, you want to have under this light some sort of basking area, and of course your hide box is going to be on the warm side as well. Right. Um, to uh, allow the snake to get out of the sight of, of people if he needs to, but also stay warm. And then your water dish is going to be on your cool side so it doesn't evaporate right away. And uh, and then you're going to have, of course, your newspaper or, or screen pine or whatever you want to right. use for the substrate. And, uh, you know, other than that, as long as you have your hide box and, like, usually this doubles as, like, a perch form. So you yeah. can go up on top of here and then stay warm up here in this little area. Because you want this little area right here under the light to be around 90, you know? Okay, cool. And then, uh, uh, and of course, this outside around here is okay if it's around 85. But um, you also want, and, and I didn't mean to put this like right here, but basically you want your hide to be sitting right over the heating pad as well. Right. So let's just pretend that that is right there. And, uh, <clears throat> and then. 
Okay, I just left the vivarium and vivarium, 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 whatever. And I looked around a lot. I talked to a guy and figured out everything. He gave me a care sheet with all the information I need to know about corn snakes. I saw a few of them. I saw some huge snakes in there, which I'll show you. Um, and then um, I got everything I needed to get. And then I looked up the prices on Amazon and saw which ones were cheaper. So overall, I only spent $100 so far for every everything that I need and some of that stuff is gonna last a really long time so um, I got a tank and a hide that I'm gonna show you right now but on um, and I'll show you everything that I got on Amazon Amazon and the price difference um, I'll try to remember the price difference in the store but it was way cheaper to get the stuff on Amazon because this is like um, a local place so obviously prices are gonna be higher um, and just because I'm trying to save money um, I did I went ahead and got them on Amazon but if I did have the money I would probably get them from the store because I'd want to support a small business especially the one that I'm getting my snake from um, they did let me hold a, a baby snake that was like a baby corn snake that was honestly it was so small it was so tiny maybe I want mine a little bit bigger because they were just so squirmy it was so squirmy and it just like kept moving it was really really fast and then um, the then she let me hold one that was older. I don't know exactly how old it was. It was older, maybe like a year or so. Um, and that one was fast too, faster than the other snakes that the guy showed me. Um, he showed me quite a few snakes. Um, but corn snakes are pretty fast, so you gotta be on your toes. But I feel pretty excited. I decided to wait until after I come back from my trip to Seattle. In about, in three weeks, I'm going to Seattle for four days, and I figured that I just want to um, be able to support my snake as, as it um, gets used to its new environment. So I decided to wait until after my Seattle trip, so I'll be getting it in about a month, which is kind of a bummer, but um, it's good for me to prepare and keep learning and to make sure that this is not just an impulse decision. So I'm gonna have a month to prepare for my snake's home for, for him, um, and uh, when everything arrives I'll show you how I set it up uh, but I'm really excited about this new adventure this is a used tank it was uh, $21.99 something like that um, so as you can see it's used this this probably I'll try to get this off um, and I'll clean this up but it's pretty nice it's got that um, slide enclosure open um, it does have some sort of damage to it let me see if I can show you Right here, it looks like it's been burned, probably from like a heat lamp or something. So there's a little burn there. Um, but this one was a uh, $22, $22, and it was uh, one of the cheaper options. One of the cheaper options there. I'm gonna see online how much these run for to see if I chose a more expensive option. But um, I think this one will hold up pretty well, and it'll hold a corn snake for about a year. Then I got this hide. So, I really wanted a coconut hide for my snake, uh, but I figured that this one was a pretty good price, and that um, the coconut ones that I saw, I just I wasn't sure if they were going to be big enough. So I think this one is going to last me at least a year, um, and for $7.50, I thought the price was okay. Then the last thing he gave me is this is a care sheet which goes over all the information I need to know about taking care of a snake. He marked it up and talked all through it for me. So it was really helpful to reference this while I was purchasing everything that I needed. If you want the information of where I went, it was the East Bay Vivarium um, in Berkeley.